and it's a great adventure, larger than life. Yeah, where one little boy finds his way home with some brand new friends. A sneak peek at this summer's production at the Oregon Community Theater. That's coming up. Okay, a movie classic is hitting the stage. That's right, a great movie. It's all happening in Oregon next weekend. A live performance of James and the Giant Peach Jr. at the Oregon Community Theater. Before we get a sneak peek of all the action behind it, the show's director, Beth Giller, is sitting down with us and going over the detail behind this because you've been working pretty hard at this for a while now, Beth. We have. We started uh, right after school was out the beginning of June and practice every day from 9 to noon. Yep. That's a lot of work. It is. It's and a lot of fun, though. How many people involved? How many actors? Production. There are 72 youth in the cast, okay. and then we involve high school students as what we call wranglers, kind of helpers and coaches. There's about 25 high school students. But about 7 to how old in the oh, Age production? 7 to 14. Great. So Beth, why James and the Giant Peach Jr.? Typically you hear about the Wizard of Oz, yeah. Alice in Wonderland. What made you say, that's the one, we're going to do it, we're going to rock it? <laughs> well, we've done those classic shows. We've done Sound of Music, and we've done mm -hmm. Alice in Wonderland. This is a new show. It's just recently released, and it has wonderful new music, new composers. Uh, we kind of wanted to take a risk and do something that no one around here had done yet. So we have a lot of creativity and a lot of fun with that. Are these some shots of the rehearsals we're looking at here? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's and so cool. kids in the hall getting coached and playing a little game, theater games, character games. Do you do some things to really loosen them up for the stage, get out sure. having fun? Yep, we do a lot of warm-ups. We do... Um, just a lot of fun. We have looks them. like a jumping jacks. <laughs> yes, yeah. jumping jacks. We have them do uh, character impersonations and some pantomime exercises so that they feel comfortable uh, being silly on the stage. And I know this is the summer months. The kids are away from school. They're saying, yes, we don't have to wake up and do homework. This is a labor of love for them as it well is. as for you. Kind of it describe is. that. It's a huge commitment for these kids. They're, they're there for a couple hours every day. Their parents have to make time to bring them. Mm -hmm. We have lots and lots of help from parents and from other adults in the community. Costumes, set building, things like that. It's, a, lot it's a of huge work. commitment. Well, yes. we want to hear something from the show. Good. And we have a couple of well-dressed performers in this studio. Yes, they yes. look amazing <laughs> over there. So. Beth, introduce them. I would love we'll have to. have them take it away. James, the hero of the story, is an orphan, and he has to go live with his horrible aunts, who are named Aunt Spiker, big and tall, skinny <laughs> Aunt Spiker, and Aunt Sponge. And they are very excited to have him as their helper monkey slave. Uh -oh. <laughs> so this is after Spiker and Sponge have lost him on the peach, and they are celebrating their relationship together as sisters. And they're really goofy, so, <laughs> and kind of mean. <laughs> Take it away, girls. Seems we've lost nearly everything, Sponges. Everything. I mean, really, what have we got? We thought you could ride on the moon to your dreams, but you couldn't. So what? You thought life would glide just like peaches and cream, but it wouldn't. Who cares? Paparazzi, ask you the pose. You want a new yacht, you can't buy one of those. That's the way your new life goes, but in the end, you still got your best friend. And I got you. to know you all right so you lost all you had i know you had quite a lot it's in tatters move on get over yourself it's dreadful and sad to realize you got what still matters what still matters my figure my cheekbones my radiant you voluptuous curves and my solid gold tooth but the very scary truth is that Yeah. The 
was oh, awesome, fantastic. guys. Great work. Beth, come on over here. Yeah. Girls, thank you so much for being here as well. And names, too, before we go. Um, I'm Peyton. Peyton? I'm Emma. Amazing, guys. Great Thank job. You. And great you voices. Yeah. You can check it out at Facet Junior High, which is okay. on Star in Oregon. And I'm pretty sure that there's some information on the screen about number for tickets. Perfect. And if not, you can go to OregonCommunityTheater.org. Yep, there's the information right there. And uh, you can call that number for tickets. We'd love to see as many people as possible. It's a great, great show. <laughs> Sounds like it. Thanks, girls. Thank you. Thank you. We have much more to come this morning on WTOL 11, your weekend. That's right. We're back in two minutes.